Okay, so just talking in general, like if you're in a relationship with somebody and they're getting angry that you're trying to offer them solutions all the time and uh, trying to fix them. Um, the thing with that is I would, I would, you know, it's when you're trying to, when you're trying, you know, no one likes to be, you know, if a person, I think also understand that everyone likes to be unconditionally heard. Now the problem is, I mean, with, with I think the male archetype is we like offering solutions to things. And often, um, I'd say the female archetype just likes to be heard, but doesn't like to be given solutions. Like, so now the thing is, if you're in a, if you're in a, <clears throat> so it is often, it is often good to develop the practice of, of listening without offering solutions. Now, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> so, I mean, if you're in a romantic relationship, I guess, uh, um, uh, and also if you're a man, uh, and also as a woman, it's all sometimes, sometimes you're in the mood to just talk, but not to be told what to do to be, to, on how to be fixed. Now, this is... Now this can be very, very stressful if someone looks like they're in a, in a state of uh, deep victimhood and are not taking responsibility for their lives. Again, in that situation, um, you can, uh, it still is worth trying to transcend the situation to get more power in the situation because one thing is um, in a relationship, if you're trying to fix someone, sometimes if you stop trying to fix them and take the pain of not offering solutions, what happens is you are then, uh, uh, you clear your ego that wants to, uh, one, one of the things that can come up is that you feel like you need to be a personal saviour for someone before you, and then you can only let them go until after they're saved. But one way to do that is to transcend the personal saviour while still being in there with them. Now that's that sounds very difficult, but the reason why is because is the things that your le that your level of consciousness with an individual is related to the level to which your ego is not involved in that relationship. So now, if I'm let's say I was with um, I'm on camera, but let's say I had a girlfriend and I wanted to leave her but she was in a bad way and so I wanted her to find some form of help before I left her that would be um, that would be I'd be trying to force a solution so that she could try and be well so I could leave her now what I would then try and do is try and clear that from me so that I let that idea go from my consciousness also the idea of um, now, if I'm with a person, and let's say I have a romantic relationship, which I actually don't at the moment, but if I had a romantic relationship and I wanted to offer solutions for whatever reason, it would be like, well, the best place to offer solutions from is when I've got no personal investment in the situation. Because then it's like there's no, out, there's no investment in whether they take it or not. But if I'm trying to give solutions in the hope of them possibly taking it, then my vibration lowers. So, uh, and also, uh, so the more I can be in the light, the more likely the situation is to resolve in a better way. So, I just from a point of view of offering solutions, offer, if I want to offer a solution and I don't, then I have to go through the withdrawal from offering solutions for a period. Now, this can be a thing. I mean, if this person, let's say I, I was offering solutions, I mean, sometimes offering a solution is, is a way to stop being overwhelmed by the negativity of the other person. And I can understand that because if you just, let's say a person's in a very low victimhood state and, and they're saying, well, I feel bad about this, I feel bad about that. Mm -hmm. Well, and, you, and I wanted to say, well, there is a solution. You could go to this place. You know, that can also be a mechanism to offer them something so you don't have to carry on taking, being bombarded with the negativity going forward. But, um, and that's true, but 
the way you could see is to, uh, if you're able to go to the observer, that's one way. But the other way is to um, cut, cut, see what's in you that emotionally wants to rescue her. Um, now, this might sound, sound cold, but it's like being in the observer without having a personal, a personal agenda in the situation to stay detached. So that way, what you're doing is you're, it's, it is a hard thing to do because then you're having to go to a more spiritual place while someone's flinging their negativity at you nonstop. So I don't, I, don't, I don't say that's necessarily an easy option or an option that would be easy, but if you feel you have to stay in the situation, then what you're doing is you're actually transcending, you're bringing light into the situation by trying to detach from the bombardment of the negativity. I'm not saying that's an easy thing to do, but actually it will bring more light in because um, uh, that the person will just... Uh, now, what will happen is as you transcend, the, you have the capacity to still stay centered while they're barraging you with negativity, is what's happening is now you're going off into the light and you're not... and you'll transcend those aspects of your ego that get hooked down by them going into like, oh, it's terrible, the coronavirus is out, people are dying, it's going to be doom and gloom, it's an apocalypse, and, and you don't want to listen, you don't want to carry on listening to that for another three hours. But, but what you're doing is you're transcending the stuff in you that's getting hooked into the negativity. Because whatever they're saying, something in your ego is hooking into on a personal level, and therefore you're getting derailed, you're getting hooked out of your spiritual core. So what you're doing is you're transcending that. That's very difficult. I'm not saying it's easy. Mm -hmm. But what will happen is eventually you'll be able to retain a sense of power and detachment. And then what will, that will bring so much light into the situation and probably bring a lot of guidance into the situation. Also, they'll start to feel a lot better because they'll feel safe. Because when someone's in, in negative space in victimhood, and you go down and get hooked into negativity, then there's less light for both of you. But if you stay detached and centered while they're going off into their victim space, I'm not at all saying this is easy, mm. is it will bring more light in and more, and either a miracle will happen, usually the miracle will happen one of two things. Probably they'll get help, they'll either get better or you'll be told to leave the situation or they'll decide to leave you because you've now transcended everything there is. Because mm -hmm. the, the situation could be that, let's say, oh no, I just want to escape. I wish you wouldn't just go up into three or four hours of negativity every time I see her. It's just too much. I just want to get a quick exit. But when you transcend all of that personal stuff that's going on in you, it's like uh, the light will come in and most likely resolve the situation at some point.